What's going on YouTube? So this vlog is going to be pretty sporadic. It was the last two days, the last two days before the Arnold. So you'll see an arm workout, you'll see a back workout, you'll see kind of a daily vlog thing. So just wanted to give you a heads up. So for this first workout, we'll be doing arms. I will be doing a super set and you want to get the heaviest weight that you can to curl but also maintain proper weight. So you'll do five on each side, and then you're gonna pick up a Bomar band. I used, obviously, the extra light, as you can see. So you're gonna superset this, so no breaks. You go right from your, from your bicep curls into your band curls, and you're going to do as many as you can with that light band. And yes, the lighting is horrible, so that sucks, because I had a really good pump today, but yeah, I look super washed out, but that's all right, still got a good workout in. So when you do these with the band, you want to make sure that you are holding and squeezing at the top and bend over slightly to really feel it in your biceps. So the gym yesterday was super busy. I usually do not like to go back and forth between biceps and triceps. However, with the limited equipment that I had, I kind of had to, to work around it. So my next exercise is actually going to be tricep extensions using just the carabiner. If you've never done this before, it looks silly and it looks like I'm hardly moving any weight at all, but I promise you it is torture when you don't have a rope or when you don't have an attachment, when you're simply holding onto that carabiner and doing tricep extensions. And for any tricep movement, make sure that elbow stays as stationary as possible to truly isolate your tricep. So like I said, gym equipment yesterday was pretty scarce, so I had to grab a chair in order to perform these dumbbell concentration curls. And this is part of a superset, so you're going to go straight from your tricep carabiner extensions right into these dumbbell concentration curls. Again, keep that elbow stationary to truly isolate that bicep. You want to bend over, keep the elbow stationary, and get as high on that dumbbell as you can. Well, my patience paid off as the piece of equipment that I was waiting on ended up opening up so I was able to perform these seated cable bicep curls. I like to lean back on these to really engage the bicep and to get a full range of motion. See how I lay my arms completely flat and then curl. I'm not doing half reps or quarter reps here. You want to fully extend those elbows to really get the most out of this exercise. And last up we have underhand tricep extensions. I showed this on my Instagram a few days ago and it's actually a ladder sequence. So you're gonna start with 10 underhand extensions on your right side. And then as soon as you finish with that, you're gonna switch to your left and perform 10 here. You will then go back to your right hand and do nine. Go back to your left and do nine, eight, eight, seven, seven all the way down to one without stopping. I will speed this clip up just for timing purposes, but I just want you guys to see that I do not stop, I don't rest until I finish that entire ladder. Today is March 1st. March 1st. Yep. So today is March 1st. That means Sarah and I met exactly three years ago today. Three. I met her three years ago today. And um, yeah, that's pretty awesome stuff. So we're going to go celebrate with dinner and with some friends, which is kind of cool because we're meeting up with Dave and Paige. And uh, Dave is actually the reason I got a chance to meet this beautiful lovely specimen over here <laughs> no cuz yeah it's weird yeah I don't like it yeah I won't do that again don't Thank worry. You. <laughs> so Dave owns isolator fitness and um, he hired Sarah to work a booth and that's why she was at the Arnold and she wanted to get a workout in which is why she was in Columbus working out at my gym and that's when I hit on her you know three years ago so this is gonna be fun what are you going to order? Probably the same with salads. So I'm still on a low day. I'm going to carve up tomorrow for the show on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So my choices are going to be slightly limited, but that's okay. Um, I'll eat enough carbs for everybody. If I make chocolate chip, it's okay. Don't worry, 
I'll get it. Oh, our friends are coming. Oh my gosh, so we just got done with like a three and a half hour dinner. And it's like 10.30 and I still have to do cardio. So this should be fun. But tomorrow's my high carb day. So guess what I'm gonna be thinking about the whole time I do the cardio. All the carbs. Is it pretty? Good girl. Good girl. It's so cold. <laughs> oh my God, it's freezing. So we are here at the Arnold a day early. We're gonna go help isolator set up. But just this so you guys, is pretty cool. You guys yeah. will see like a little behind the scenes before the magic. There's a lot that goes into expo setup that I don't think a lot of people realize, like all the behind the scenes and all the work and everything that goes into just getting all of this set up. And then once all the people get in here, I mean, it is literally bananas. Just finished helping set up the booth. It's a high day for me, so I'm trying to fill up on as many carbs as possible. So we're going to Pita Pit. If you guys don't have, if you guys don't have Pita Pit and you're coming to the Arnold, you should go to Pita Pit because it's the best thing in the entire world. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so like Sarah said, today is a high carb day, and every single high carb day we always take cuts. So let me explain to you what cuts does. Um, we do this all the time, so if you, you're hearing this for the hundredth time, I'm sorry, but we do have a lot of new fans, so we want to make sure that we explain to you what our product Cuts does. And in a nutshell, it helps shuttle carbohydrates from your blood into your muscle instead of fat. So anytime you eat carbohydrates, your body releases insulin, and that insulin basically goes in and says, okay, carbs, um, let's push you into your muscle or let's push you into fat. Basically what this does, is it helps transport your carbs into the muscle and not into fat. So it helps fill up your glycogen and uh, it'll give you sick pumps. It helps you keep from gaining excess fat. Uh, it's a good product, definitely worth having. Don't take it if you're not eating carbs, you're wasting your money. Or lifting. Yeah, or if you're just taking it and then going and lift, you know, that doesn't make any sense either. So take it before you eat carbs that is how you're gonna get the most out of carbs, or uh, out of cuts. And then may I do onions, cucumbers, banana peppers, and then a lot of pickles. That's good. And then may I do a little bit of the boom boom sauce? That's good. My favorite. What'd you get? My favorite. Turkey. I think they need a new adventure as well. Oh my gosh. Here's your glazed. Oh, come on. Look how pathetic that is. That is a good looking donut. Yeah, for a four year old. All right, now oh, I got. A glazed is the best. I got a Buckeye donut and a red velvet with cream cheese. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Mmm. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. 
Well, does it taste as good as it looks? Uh huh. Really? Oh yeah. I like my glaze better. Whatever. And welcome to the next workout of this vlog. Lucky you, you get two. So I started this workout with assisted chin-ups and I used our extra light Bomar band. You can get yours from bomarbands.com. I simply did this to failure. You'll see the next exercise as well. And I will list all of the workout details below in the comments. So definitely check that out. Next, in the next clip, you will see the next round of these. Just wanted to give you guys a different angle on them to show how stretchy our bands actually are. A lot of people ask how high quality they are, and to be honest, extremely high quality. We've been using these for almost a year and have had absolutely no issues with them whatsoever. So definitely order some if you are interested in resistance band training and you will get amazing results. So the next two exercises are actually a part of a superset. You guys know me, you know I love getting supersets in. It's just a very good way to exhaust the muscle in a shorter condensed period of time. So for this one I started with cable cable rows with the handles, not with the actual bar itself, but with the dual handles. If you don't have this cable set up at, at your gym, that's totally fine. You can do it with the metal two-handed cable system that is totally fine. Just make sure you get the same reps in. And then you're going to go directly into a narrow grip lat pull down. So for me, I'm not really trying to grow my lats right now. I really want to work on the middle and upper part of my back. So that is why I switched from from an outer grip to an inner grip and then also took my hands into a narrow grip as well. So this next exercise is a fan favorite and it's also one of my favorites because it hits your lower back and your middle and upper back at the exact same time. So you're going to hop on that hyperextension machine and then when you come up you're actually going to row two plates, squeeze your spine to really engage that middle and upper back and then also your lower back when you're coming up. All right, our last exercise for this back workout is going to be 20 to 30 seconds of battle ropes. If your gym does not have battle ropes, uh, complain to your manager. One, get you some battle ropes. You can also do crawl outs, you could do Australian curls, anything like that, just to really hit that, that back. You could also row as well. So just make sure you're doing some sort of plow movement to really fire up your back. So we're back home, obviously. I'll probably just do a voiceover for my back workout, so just so you guys know. But we went out and picked up our Bomar Fitness apparel. Very excited. So we've got these gray leggings. The Bomar Fitness on the back. It's one piece. And then we have this tank top, which I think is my favorite. So right there on the strap. Pretty cool. Logo down the sleeve. These leggings, the logo down the front leg. A shirt for him. And then we also picked up, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've already been playing with it, so there's cat hair all over it. Hi, babies. Hi, Jer. Bye, Jer. A little cat hoodie with Bomar Fitness on it. Oh my gosh. Jerry, weren't you the cutest in the world? Aren't you the cutest in the world? So next on the agenda, we have to, Josh made the workout for our group workout. Oh yeah, I'm he made excited. It. He, made the, he made the workout. So now we are going to write the workout on like big poster pieces of paper. That way at the gym, everyone knows what they're supposed to be doing. Gotta be easy, organized, and hopefully those of you that are watching this were actually at our group workout. So that'd be pretty cool. Cause now you get to see the behind the scenes before the torturing session. Yes. And for whatever reason, Ohio decided to snow today. So if you're coming to the Arnold, sorry, this is usually what Ohio's like. So, alrighty. Then we have to tan, shower, tan, get ready for tomorrow, pack all our food for tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Next meal is going to be beefy mac and cheese. I'm gonna use our taco venison that I made the other day. Obviously use this. Should be d le. So in the next clip, you guys will see me making some delicious high carb, high protein energy balls for the Arnold. Now these aren't necessarily the most macro friendly 
treats. However, for the Arnold, for us, we are very busy. We are talking to people pretty much virtually all day and that doesn't leave a lot of time to eat. So for us to condense our nutrients into like little small tiny delicious energy bites is really the best and most effective way for us to get our calories in when we're standing there at a convention. So they're really good for if you're like hiking, if you've got things like that, if you're doing like high energy activities or if you can't eat necessarily a ton throughout the day, these are great. Just watch the macros on them. I will list those as well in each energy ball. They're just gonna be higher in carbs. So it's just gonna be mainly honey, oats, pro or peanut butter, protein, and then we're gonna add raisins in as well just for higher carbs. So if it's your first time to the Arnold, we're really excited. Last year I filmed um, a what to bring to the Arnold video. So I will link that as well. So definitely check that out. And then I also last year filmed what to bring to the Arnold. So what to expect and what to bring, I will list and tag both of those. That way you guys can prep beforehand if you are coming to the Arnold. There's not a lot of healthy food options, ironically, at a fitness convention. So you wanna, you wanna plan ahead, especially for if you're going to be at the convention all day. So that's what you'll see next. I will link those as well. Enjoy. I will definitely be making more of these, just kinda like a test run of the recipe. I know the ratios, so I'm doing one cup of oats, two scoops of our protein powder, I'm use the vanilla, all right, so then I'm going to add one third cup honey, and we're going to add in one third cup peanut butter. Can you help me real quick? Yeah. Just be my hands all messy. What's happening, Captain? Can you just lower the camera so that they can see the... Oh, okay. All right, so now these will go in the fridge for about 20 minutes. Great. 